Learning. Uh, in everyday life, we do use that word very often. I always have the situation to learn something new. It's impossible to teach someone if you do, learn, do not learn it first. Do talk to each other, share the emotions. So every day must start from my perspective with a real uh, cup of Bosnian coffee. That's a million dollar question. Welcome to Digital Learning Dialogues. We're happy you're here with us today. To start, could you tell us more about yourself? What is your job? What are you passionate about professionally? And what are the main activities of your work? Hello from my side too. Uh, so uh, it's my pleasure to be part of this project. Uh, I'm very happy that I will have this opportunity to answer to those questions. And maybe some of them I won't be able to, to be very precise, but I will do my best. Uh, so my name is Riza. I'm founder and CEO of SmartLab. SmartLab is e-learning agency based in Sarajevo, Bosnia-Herzegovina. And um, if I want to present myself in the shortest way, I would say, yes, I do manage a team. I work as a manager. Till now, I had uh, the opportunity to work in creative industry. I was working for a long time as a multimedia designer. In the same time, I was working in learning projects. What brought me in a good position where I could connect all those skills and work, work as a leader in, in e-learning industry. So uh, maybe this is the shortest way to present some of my uh, experience gathered till now and what I am doing at the moment. How does learning as a general activity affect your job? Is there a specific aspect of learning that you think is key to success in your professional field? Learning. Uh, in everyday life, we do use that word very often. We, we are always trying to emphasize how learning important is. Uh, from my point of view, maybe I'm in a position to use it even more often since in e-learning industry where I work, uh, you are looking for digital solutions which can um, improve the efficiency of learning. There is no way to improve the efficiency of learning if you don't know how people learn and what is the meaning and the, the importance of learning in everyday life. I mean, I come from from perspective where the learning was defined as, as, a, as an activity in the first stage of your life. Like you do go to your school, you go to your secondary school, to gymnasium or something like that, and then you graduate. But from early stage, I, I understood that lifelong, lifelong learning is really important. And um, that's why I think that learning has a big impact in everyday life to me and to all others around. Especially is really important in, in, in 21st century where knowledge is crucial to, um, to answer to all ch challenges that we are facing on. Do you have a daily routine or habit that you regularly follow, which is especially related to learning? How do you keep up with learning consistently and how does it impact your everyday life? How do you see digital learning fitting into your daily routines? Daily routine. Uh, that's a complex one. Uh, I think all of us have some type of daily routine. When I think about that, my daily routine is pretty much very, very uh, precisely defined uh, between um, my daily activities I need to cover. Some of them are part of my uh, family activities uh, in the same time, some of them are part of my everyday job. Um, so every day must start, from my perspective, with a real uh, cup of Bosnian coffee. Uh, somehow I can't uh, avoid uh, that, that routine, which is part of my life for a long time. And that's the moment when I do plan the activities of that day, maybe not in a formal way, but in, in those, like I would say, most important categories or parts of my daily activities I need to cover. Then the discussion with family, discussion with my kids, 
while we are all going out of, of our home uh, uh, running to, to catch up all our activities. I start the morning daily stand-up with my team members where we discuss the main challenges we have in that day. And that's maybe one, one part which is pretty much always uh, predefined uh, every working day. And from after that, it depends. I try to adapt to different uh, challenges I'm facing. Sometimes I have like meetings out of the office, I have online calls, I have internal discussions, some regular operational uh, activities and so on. When we come to learning, honestly, I must admit that I don't have such a good routine on a daily basis where I do learn something. I think that I do invest a lot of effort, I do learn stuff, I do read a lot, I do try to, be, to track different podcast channels, to learn from documentaries, to learn from people while we are discussing about something. I'm always thinking about stuff that are part of my everyday life and I think thinking is part of learning too. Probably it would be much better if I have already predefined time slot for learning too and maybe this this project can help me identify and plan that in the future. Could you share with us a specific example from your experience from which you learned something very valuable? How has that experience influenced your professional development and what key lessons did you take from it? Ooh, honestly, in, in my everyday work and, 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 and in job I, I do and uh, on which I invest most of my time, I always have the situation to learn something new. I mean, if we are producing an e-learning course for automobile industry or for um, HR of a bank or whatever, or financial institution, then I must read that content, I must go through it, I must understand it. Maybe teachers can understand this very, very well. If you have some topic that you need to teach someone, it's impossible to teach someone if you do, learn, do not learn it first. So you must be very deep, you must have very deep understanding of, the, of that topic. So we do learn a lot of stuff on our daily, daily, daily basis uh, and I, that's part of my, my everyday life for sure. But in the same time, if I'm thinking now where I do learn the most, I think the most I learn from people. Um, when I talk to people, when we discuss about any topic, which can be related to a project that we are covering or, or a new strategy for next year or whatever, uh, brainstorming sessions where people share their experience and share their uh, knowledge or their ideas in the moment where I feel like I'm moving the level or um, moving the, the, the border of my understanding. And I think that is the moment when I do gather the most of my knowledge I use in everyday life. Thinking about the future and the upcoming generations, what two or three pieces of learning advice would you give to the youth? How do you think the importance of these pieces of advice will be judged in the future? And what would you like someone watching this video in a few years to understand and apply from your words? That's a million dollar question. Um... Honestly, to give like two hints for future gener generation, I would say it this way. Um, learning is really important, that's crucial. But in the same time, it's important to identify what topics and what you need to learn. What is important to know. So to learning, we must add something we call value. Uh, learning without value can represent a good knowledge without being capable to implement it in important parts of lifestyle. I mean, at the end, whatever we do and whatever we learn, uh, that's always just because we want to create a lifestyle which make, uh, makes us happy. If we do anything where at the end we are not feeling happy, probably we are not doing the, the right thing. So I would say it's important to communicate a lot. So like a first statement, do talk to each other, communicate with each other, learn from each other, 
and at the same time share the empathy, share, share the emotions. That's the, the human property. Uh, that's the, the, the thing which can't be uh, covered somehow without thinking about it and without allocating enough energy to it. That would be the first thing. The second thing, yeah, um, I need, I, sometimes I do hear that very popular statement, work smart, not hard. And it sounds good because you have like those two words, like smart and hard, uh, where people do think if I should work hard or smart. Uh, I, I would say work hard, primarily, but in a smart way. Uh, working hard doesn't mean that your, your, uh, your back should be in pain because you're doing a hard work, but pushing your, your brain, training your brain by thinking, reading, talking to each other and learning is something which, which uh, needs the hard energy and that's the only way how you can uh, have the good answers to challenges we are facing on. Maybe that can be the second one and since I think you mentioned in your question I read that there is even possibility to add the third one I would say do not, do not forget that the environment is really important in the efficiency of, what, of, of, of uh, whatever you do. So if you are in the environment where you are learning something, you must feel comfortable. If you are not in comfortable environment, that learning efficiency will be low. In the same time, if you are working or just thinking or just trying to take some rest, imagine how important environment is. So do work, do, do uh, think and help yourself to create and identify the environment where you can be the best of you. Maybe that can be the third suggestion.